Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another episode. Today, I thought I would talk to you about something a little different. It would just be another chat, but this was just some interesting thoughts that I had and just something interesting for you to chew on, something kind of playful to talk about a little bit. So before I get into this video, if you're new to the channel, I'm Emily, otherwise known as shamanism, otherwise known as sham. I refer to myself as sham sometimes, so if you hear me say that, that's why. I'm an author, a musician, an entrepreneur, and I'm here to help you become your next best version. I'm here to help you develop, whether that's in weight loss or health, whether that's with your mindset or whatever, or whether that's with your garden, with permaculture, which is another one of my major passions. That is who I am, and welcome back if you're not new. <laughs> so today's topic, I just thought was really fascinating, and I, I'm still not sure entirely, in, entirely, ha <laughs> ha, Freudian slip. I'm still not sure entirely what I'm going to title <laughs> this video. However, um, it has to do with, and I, I hesitate to almost even make this comparison, but I'm gonna go there just because there's so many things in this life that, that we label, it's just so silly that we do that. So what am I talking about, you're wondering? You're sitting there asking, okay, okay, what are you talking about, Sham? So here's the story, and it's short but just a cute little story that made me think about a lot of things. So let me see if it has a similar effect on you guys. <laughs> so about, I guess, maybe three or four days ago it was now, it snowed here. Now I live in New England. I've lived in New England for, now I've moved around about 10 times in my life, but I've lived in New England for most of my life actually. Uh, and I love it, I'm not gonna lie. I love having the change of seasons. I like having a spring, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, I had to think about the order of the seasons. Oh, it's early guys, forgive me. But so it finally snowed, like we got our first proper snow last week and it was absolutely beautiful. For those of you who aren't into like winter sports or whatever like that, I used to be a, a skier. Now when I say I used to be a skier, I am not talking about a professional skier guys. <laughs> I just skied for the enjoyment. I like to ski, I really like the snow, yeah. So this was not like super pro, you know, Emily skiing around being like, whoosh, 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 like those pro people that you see. Not so much. This was for fun. However, that being said, I really enjoyed it. It was like a meditative type activity. Now, anyway, where am I going with that? You're asking. So there are like different snow conditions that make it quite enjoyable to a varying degree, depending on what the conditions are when you're a skier or a snowboarder. And one of the best types of snow for a lot of people is what we call powder. And it's basically that light and fluffy stuff that uh, it, it's not really like wet enough. Well, it's not, not really, it's not at all wet enough to make say a snowman, but it's perfect. It doesn't stick to your, your skis or your snowboard. And it allows you to, I don't really know how it works in the physics aspect of like why that even really holds together in a way where we can ski on it and not just go down to the grass for instance. <laughs> But anyway, it is one of the best like snow mediums to ski on is powder. It's just so nice. You just swish through. Oh, I'm getting like some kind of weird nostalgia chills from thinking about that. I haven't been skiing in so long. So anyway, so it snowed properly for the first time ever. And it was really nice snow. It was just a little bit wet. It was like so close to the perfect powder, but basically the perfect natural powder it was, was what came down. And I have a friend from the islands and she was saying, I thought to myself, you know what? She probably doesn't if she's been there her whole life. Like I've been here, she doesn't know what snow looks like. And I thought, let me show her some snow. It's so the first time I had, it had, I had snowed. Ha, huh? the Freudian slips are just, the slips today are abounding. Forgive me guys. It's early in the morning and I, my mouth usually doesn't form the right words first thing in the morning. So, I was showing her the outside around when it was snowing and she made a comment, something along the lines of, wow, look at all your, pla um, how all my plant pots, because I think I mentioned I'm a gardener, uh, were covered in like these poofy little, uh, like, like, I don't want to call them muffin tops because that sounds more like, you know, what we have on our belly. But um, when I think of muffin tops, anyway, I have that association. <laughs> but uh, it, it just all looked like a snow cone, you know, it had that, those, all the, like for instance, right? If, forgive me for reaching through the screen here, but if this had been uh, the, the plant pots, there was just a, a clump, you know, of nicely rounded, perfectly shaped, you know, um, cone. 
sorry for this guys there's a table um cone that i that was on top of it it just looked really adorable when if you're not familiar if you haven't seen a lot of snow or you don't get snow accumulations like that when the snow comes down in certain amounts when it builds up it tends to just make everything look super cute <laughs> it it makes it look like a little winter wonderland something that you would see in like a little display or like during the holiday time sometimes they recreate these winter scenes in the shops you know what i mean so it just makes it look really beautiful and magical and and she said something to me about that and it, i don't know why it triggered this thought but i thought wow you know that's so interesting because what i was thinking is <clears throat> in my circle in my spiritual circle which i'm so so grateful by the way if any of you folks are watching i know there are some of you out there thank you for coming into my life i'm so thankful that i manifested you because you guys have been helping to just crack open my mind and my spirit and it's insane for me to say this but honestly 2021 has been one of my 2021 guys i'm already putting myself in the future date look at this it's because yesterday i was doing all these like celebratory rituals and things for 1221 i'm now i'm i'm like counting it as the new year even though it's not already so okay so anyway in our circle what we have is this saying that if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far go together or something like that but essentially you can go fast and far together so what the connection there was I was looking at these this these clumps of snow right on top of my plant pots and on top of everything because it was we got a large dump of snow it was like about a foot or foot and a half of snow which is like you know well that doesn't mean much to you guys but it's quite a bit of snow it's about knee deep or something like that is where it is if this plows come or if you try to shovel or anything and so it, yeah it had me thinking about this concept now I think I may have mentioned this before, but if not, I'll mention it again. I'm also a gamer. I, I grew up playing computer games for the longest time. It was my saving grace because it was how I kept sane for the longest time because all I really had was computer games for a while. And I'm very thankful I can say that's not the case now. And I've found other ways that I love to say, open up my body or my mind or to calm me down. Than I, but back then, all I really had was video games and computer games. So... Uh, and why was I telling you about that? She asked herself out loud. <laughs> I, I hate losing my train of thought, y'all. It's so frustrating for me. But the positive side is that my memory is slowly coming back as I'm healing myself, which is just kind of strange. But so it had, oh, I remember now. The connection was over the snowflakes. So I was looking at all these snowflakes, right? And I'm thinking, we most of us know, or if you don't know, let me enlighten you on this fact, but actually every single snowflake in existence is different. Now, the connection to the video games is that in the video game world, if you're a female gamer, you will know this, even if you've dabbled and you haven't even, you know, you weren't even a, a gamer, you'll know this. There is quite a toxic set of, to I mean, there's quite a few communities out there in terms of gaming that are incredibly toxic. Now, obviously at the time I wasn't so conscious of this and whatever, but this term nowadays or in the last year or two years or so that's come around is, for us emotionally centric people, people who care, something that was getting tossed around toxically in the com in the gaming community was this notion of, oh, well, you're just a special snowflake. Now I want to speak into that. Now here's the thing. So on this day, I'm thinking to myself about these snowflakes that I'm literally witnessing. And I'm thinking about this fact that exactly like us, you guys, every single snowflake is unique and different. Now, where is the beauty of what I'm talking about here? And where's the connection you're asking yourself? So every single snowflake has a different structure, just like every human being has a different physical structure, makeup, look, appearance, voice. Everything is different if you really want to be honest with yourselves. And there's a whole other subject I could go off on that, but I'm not going to for the sake of not distracting myself and the video time. Now, even though every single snowflake is unique and different, even though every single snowflake is different, guys. Let that really resonate. I want you to sit here for a minute. Every snowflake out there is unique. Every single one. Every one. Which means that every single one of you is different. And the next time that you see snow or, you know, even if it's recreated, look at the way, if it, when it falls in clumps and look at how perfectly it falls. Look at the symmetry of, you know, again, say that this jar was the top and there was a clump of snow. Look at the symmetry of, of what's there. 
look at the order of what's there and look at how the entire construct wouldn't be there if it wasn't for every single snowflake in that bunch. Now that's the point I wanna drive home. Just like snowflake, well actually it's kind of twofold. One, I want us to claim back that snowflake, being a snow, special snowflake is a bad thing. Let me just take the power back from that right now. Being a special snowflake is your superpower. So don't let anyone tell you that being a special snowflake is bad. It's not, it's excellent. If someone insults you like that in the future insults you, take it as a compliment because it means that you're so unique that they don't know how to handle you. <laughs> your creative juices are too strong and they're over 11. And then the main message, however, that I wanted to give here that, I, that had occurred to me through this bizarre experience of the snow. And I was thinking, why did this come to me in this experience? But it comes when it comes, the universe works in some funny ways. So what I wanna just say to you all is remember that the universe needs you. And speaking into that, now is the time, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but the world's moving super fast right now. Like the speed of things this year, let's, let's just say, I'm gonna use my fingers, right? Let's say the pace of the world at the beginning of 2020 was something like this. Let's just say, right? That's the pace of the world's going. Now, as you might have noticed, it was going more like that as 2020 progressed. And now we're kind of more like this. Now, why one question there is how many of you got a, a little bit of anxiety even just watching me do this? <laughs> Be honest, because even watching myself do that, actually, I got a little anxiety. Now, my point today here is literally, you are, number one, you're unique, and number two, in that, your uniqueness is valuable. That's one of the single most important lessons that I learned this year, besides learning how to make my own network of friends like healthy and safe and good people, and finally having that gel and come into my life, and I, I strongly encourage you to find peers who support and care about you. <clears throat> Forgive me, my frog of my morning frog is returning in my throat. <laughs> Forgive. Anyway, I don't cut these very much in between because I like to have my raw flow in here because sometimes I actually am able to quite give quite good um, like flow through universe to you guys works quite well <laughs> channeling, but I don't consider myself to be any kind of a channeler. So anyway, my message is Use your uniqueness and your, your special snowflakeness as your superpower instead, because it genuinely is. Um, what makes you you is what the rest of the world doesn't have. And that's the part that you contribute. You know, did you guys ever play that game Jenga when you were younger? Jenga, if you guys don't know it by that name, Jenga is this game that I had growing up, which is basically, I don't know how many blocks are in it, but it's a set of blocks that you stack and they're stacked three blocks at a time. Say, say my fingers are, you would stack three like this and then three like this and then three like this and so on and so forth. And you do it until there's a stack, say about this high, right? And then what you do, the whole challenge of the game, and I say challenge in quotes, but it can get quite difficult towards the end. But basically as you pull, pull or push one piece at a time on your turn out until you have like this crazy construction of very precariously placed blocks. <laughs> So what I want to say is you guys are vital. If you take you out of the world game, for however that were, if that were to happen, if you take you out of the world game, guess what? The world could come down like that. So the whole Jenga thing is if you pull out too many blocks, you know there's always a point when you play Jenga where you know you have that block or that buddy of yours has that block <clears throat> that if you pull it out of the stack is going to, if you're not super, super, super careful, and sometimes even if you are, <clears throat> forgive me, sorry guys, that it's gonna topple right over. It's gonna be that one and you know it and you're like, if you're me, you're like, I'm gonna get that out. I can get that block, it, it won't fall down. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I hit my piano. But let me tell you, that block, that, that set of blocks is gonna fall over inevitably at some point if you keep, and the point of that being, if you keep pulling, you know, things out of the foundation or point being relative to 2020 and going into 2021, if you guys, if I can encourage you to do something else with the end of this year, it would be, how can I put this? To think about what you want for your life and really script it out for one. And two is just 
to start taking very conscious actions on purpose towards what you want to create, what you want to see. Because basically what you put in motion and what you start um, putting your energy and effort towards whatever you do with heart going forwards and, and keep, keep consistent, keep following through. If you put those things in place in the end of 21 and make them good positive habits at 2020 towards 2021, your 2021, you'll be able to ride this manifestation wave and just go with the flow of the universe and your dreams will just start coming towards you and coming towards you. And it's like literal magic, guys. So with that, that's all I wanted to say is that you are a special snowflake. You are unique. And not only is that super valuable, but it's your superpower. And allow that to, instead of feel knocked down by your uniqueness, instead of feel like I don't have what it takes, realize that you have you might have exactly what it takes. You might have the only thing that the world needs. You might have that one innovative idea because you saw snow. Just another, and if I can end this on this note, I would say this. I recently came up with this twist on a quote that we say, another quote from my circle, which I love, um, which is, so my twist on this is going to be this. And I say to you all, and I really truly mean this, don't, uh, well, actually, no. Let me do my version. I keep reverting to the one I've heard over and over because it's such a good phrase. It's helped me so much. But what I want to retool it to say is take your mind out of the game. When you want to do something, if you feel called to do it, take your mind out of the game. If your heart is saying, yes, I should go for that, don't even let your mind get involved too very far at all, if at all. Take your mind out. And in my circle... We say, don't let your mind take you out of the game. But here I'm going to reclaim that and say, take your mind out of the game. Because guys, yesterday I took a chance on something and this whole experience was, I was begrudging to go to it. I was like, <clears throat> so sorry. Forgive me guys. I don't know what that's about. Using my voice for the first time. I don't, you know, I'm an introvert. I don't speak a lot. <clears throat> and my voice is like, what are you doing? So Use your uniqueness as your power and, and take back this nonsense phrase that some world has developed of being a, sn a special snowflake being a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing. And if I can, I know on a serious note before I wrap this completely up, I know that the holidays can be really hard for a lot of people. And to be sensitive to that, I want to say, <sighs> you guys are special. You have something in you that no one else in the world has and I know how hard the holidays can be and without trying to minimize your pain because I'm not what I want to say is just if you can if you can connect to it connect to that you know you're special in a necessary way your specific makeup and medicine um Makeup and genetics could be a specific medicine for the world, and you never know how that's going to play out. And if you take yourself out of the game, you never know what you might miss. And I know that might seem kind of simplistic of, say, someone going through depression, really struggling right now. To tell them to hang on could feel super callous. But what I'm trying to say is rather than saying to you, hang on, I'm saying, listen, you have something valuable. And even if no one else in the world can see that with their own eyes, I'm here to tell you that you do. It's not even a question. No one needs to go, oh yeah, no one needs to confirm that for you, by the way. Your mere existence on this planet as an embodied human gives you the right to be special, if that's even a thing. You deserve the world. You deserve abundance. You deserve love, food, security, clean water, safety. You deserve everything. These are the things that I pray for for the world every single day because I... And I know that sounds like, well, what are you trying to be, a beauty queen? <laughs> you know, that's the sort of media stereotype we all got as kids. But no, I just want to help the world. I want to help the world wake up to their beauty instead of this toxic kind of dismal environment that we've created as humans so much so. And, and it's so time for a change, you guys. It's time for us to go out and spread this positivity. So that is it for me. I'm very sorry that I made this video quite so long. I wasn't intending on that, but thank you for putting up with me. And I really hope you take it to heart, guys. It Maybe I wasn't able to so well express in this video what I wanted to, but the essence is just that your uniqueness, your vulnerability, your specific makeup that makes up you is your power. And this holiday season, 
I just, I would ask you to, I know I have no right to tell you to stay, to ask you to stay, but if I can lovingly, as your friend, as someone who might be a potential peer to you one day, who genuinely cares from my heart to yours about if you're on this planet and you have your brilliant ideas on whatever it is you have in you, you know, it's don't take yourself out of this world because you may have that one thing, really, you could have that one piece of whatever it is that the world go. It's, it's a huge aha for the world and it solves loads of problems. You never know. And take action on what you feel called to because doing that can be so quick as a five second decision that literally gives you, say for instance, a call with someone who helps your business that then that business takes off and your life therefore improves. Like you never know the chain of manifestation events until you're looking back on it and you go, oh wow. So this holiday season, stay well, stay healthy, spend time with those that you love and remember that you're strong, you're powerful and you have got this. Whatever it is that you do well, that is your superpower. Don't let anyone tell you different. I really mean that guys, from my heart to yours. Don't let anybody, I don't wanna hear it if it's your parents. And I'm not saying this to you in an angry way. I'm saying this because no one out there has the right to take you out of the game include, well, you, you have the right, I guess, but please don't. You, you're you valuable. You matter to the world. And if you take you out of the world, remember that the world might well be like a Jenga game and that your piece might have been the last piece that was holding up this whole thing. Can we be responsible for that? I can't. I come here to share videos, to share wisdom, because if I didn't share these ideas that I have, I know that someone else somewhere might not be affected by an idea that is triggered by something, anything I said. You never know how you're going to affect the world. And sometimes the most impactful thing can be the most simple thing you didn't think was going to have any effect. So with that, I love you guys. And I send you so much well wishes and peace and love and joy and just holiday warmth for this season. I will see you guys again very, very soon. Uploads again are every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really look forward to seeing you all soon. If I don't see you before then, for whatever reason, have a happy holiday, spend time with your family, enjoy the weather. Try to remember to, that you have the right to relax and self-care. And I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste and be well. Take care, guys. Much love. Bye.